We're so glad to have you here at The People's View. And right now we are talking about a wonderful subject matter, which is motivation. And how, uh, I believe Shay was stating that her motivation comes from herself. Mm -hmm. um, Shay, you were specifically saying how motivation comes from the inside and that you shouldn't rely on an outside source to maintain that motivation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as I was saying, my Love Yourself campaign, it's kind of like a dichotomy approach to the whole Love Yourself thing. As a survivor of domestic violence, mm -hmm. I knew that it started for me on the inside because I wasn't loving enough of who I was. And so I was seeking this love on the outside from a man. And soon enough it became abuse and because I forgot to do the love yourself part I became this victim of abuse for many many years so in my uh, efforts to get out there and empower people to love yourself it's talking to the teenage girls you know because I once was the 14 year old abused um, being abused by my boyfriend at 14 years old so it's talking to them that segment of the population is saying to them how much it means to start there very simple very easy to start there and then I'm also talking to the women who just lost their way somewhere along the way they lost their way so they have to get back and reconnect it to the the love that they should have for themselves and that's my motivation my motivation is always feeding my spirit with positive energy to go out there and combat all the negative stuff that I know is going to come my way. So, Well, I just wanted to talk about the teen young women because to me, I think it's our responsibility as um, their, their women that they see every day. That's, and that's even with Rihanna's situation with Chris Brown. She had to sit back on that. She was getting emails and texts on her PDA with young women that were saying, this is not appropriate for you to go back with Chris Brown. So that became her impetus to remove herself from that relationship. And that was hard. She was almost in tears. And it really does start with loving yourself. Mm -hmm. I know for me, my motivation is a little thing in my head that goes, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. Mm -hmm. Because the outside world will try to tear you down. They will try to take your dream. And if you're being abused, whether it's physical or emotional, you know, your self-esteem suffers. And any time that I talk to young girls, I'm like, look, I had a baby at the age of 19. I was pregnant at 18, and I was a kid that, you know, I had to drop out of college, and I was not right. supposed to amount to anything. Right. A hill of beans, if you would. Mm -hmm. Okay. But just that little the self-motivation piece with me going back to school, even with my ch children, with my marriage, it was just something in me saying, let's go, let's go. And even when I enrolled with my master's degree. Everybody's like, well, why are you going? You got four kids. I'm like, look, it's just something in me. So you got to be motivated by yourself mm -hmm. and that drive because the outside world would tear you down. Mm -hmm. They would say, okay, you already have uh, two pens. Why do you want a pencil? You know, just... <laughs> That's a good point. Why, you be, why aren't you satisfied with what you have? But that self-motivation, mm 